pictures of naked women. Um, what 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 do they do with that? How would that possibly come back on me? I think Hogtie's right in uh, his analysis of what they effectively do. They, the, the amount of data that is flying around the ether is far too great for them to monitor um, all of um, the communications. I mean, I remember when I got a, first got a mobile phone, uh, and I was late to get one. One of my first bills advertised the fact that this particular uh, company that I was with had um, surpassed, I don't know, 250 million text messages in a month. And that was about 13 years ago. Just think how much more information is flashing around the internet and over mobile phones. I think there's no way that they can um, look at every single message. What they do is look for patterns, sometimes keywords. Um, and obviously, if they have suspicions about a particular person, any communications with those are going to get a, um, a, a red light flashing somewhere, I guess. But even with them, I, 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 it's it's. I, I suspect somewhat ineffective and a, a monumental task. Um, but if it does prevent, uh, for example, terrorist attacks or leads to information information gathering about terrorists, then I have absolutely no problem with a, uh, the argument. Oh well, you know, these people's human rights have been infringed or something like that. It just seems to me to be a nonsense. But I suspect, as I say, it does it does rely in you having a certain degree of confidence and trust in, in those uh, gathering in the information. I was about to ask, do you trust your government? Maybe that's why. And, and I'm, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm equally as boring as, as concordance on what I do on the internet, and I, and I find that as the one person who's spoken up so far to say, well, I have a problem with it, um, with the government looking into these things, um, I can't really offer much justification for that. Um, you know, concordance says, well, he would need somebody to explain why we should be up in arms about it. Um, I, I hope you're amused by my position on this, that I, I do feel up in arms about it, but I think I still need someone to call in and explain why I should be up in arms about it. Um, <laughs> well, of course, there's an invitation to anyone that may be watching on Ustream, <laughs> on Vaughan, or uh, on the Magic Sandwich Show. Send a Skype contact request uh, to Magic Sandwich Show, or even, if you like, just send me a PM um, on the live stream on the website. Uh, I don't I'll, I'll read out, read out your questions, but I'd, I'd, I'd be very curious to know what people's issues are. Sorry, yeah, please, please like. explain why why, why Hogtide Champ is a up, up in arms redneck about it. I know. <laughs> I, I just want to make a point really quickly about about the the trust, and maybe that's why I'm not so upset about it. Is that I do generally uh, trust the Canadian governments, um, except for their clumsiness, the the silly things that happen. But um, well. I can't believe that really. Um, the Magic Sandwich Show has not really taken a strong stand against uh, the United States government spying on its own people. Um, it's a it's a pretty serious stuff in terms of uh, democracy. Um, the whole point of democracy is you, it provides freedom, okay, uh, and. If your privacy is being infringed, that's an infringement on your freedom. Um, so it's a big deal. Uh, and also, the second thing is, is basically you put in the hand, you put in in people's hands, um, power. Sorry about this. Want to virtualize your biggest workload? I'll uh, come back to that in a minute. Um, the power structures, uh, power is always concentrated in a small minority. So the idea that you can allow power to be in the hands of a government is is naive because it's not in the hands of our government it's in the hands of a small minority it might be an intellectual elite it might be those who have economic power and they're the ones that will use that to keep other people uh, down uh, and other interest groups and um, you know I think it's a very very dangerous thing uh, it's a very serious thing and it should be opposed 
with all our might um, and I'm very sad really to think that the Magic Sandwich Show who some pretty intelligent people on there don't see the dangers of it really so what do you think let me know so this is Jay just enjoying the eve Sunday evening just relaxing I'm not attacking the atheism I'm just relaxing and reflecting on what the Magic Sandwich Show has got to say and I'm just reflecting about what they think and um, you know uh, so I'm just relaxing so don't worry I'm not getting into a mental crazy time or anything like that I'm just reflecting upon um, on the show alright take care now